DNA testing in the case of Liddell Lee, who was convicted in the 1993 murder of Deborah Reese, has revealed genetic material of an unknown male instead of Lee, who was executed for that murder in 2017. Lee maintained his innocence up until the day he died, but it didn't do him any good. These revelations come as a result of a lawsuit filed by the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU of Arkansas, and the Innocence Project, which resulted in the ruling that new tests could be run on the evidence in Lee's case. The technology to run this kind of sophisticated DNA testing didn't exist 29 years ago when Lee went to trial, but the fact that it could have saved his life had it been done in the years leading up to his execution is heartbreaking. There are many more convictions we know of that should be re-examined thanks to what happened to Liddell Lee and probably many more that aren't on anybody's radar just yet. Something that's happened to a lot of black people and a lot of poor people thanks to our current justice system. It's time to support causes like the Innocence Project and help them fight to make DNA testing more accessible and keep that same energy we have for police on DAs and prosecutors.